Hi guys, it's Jesse, and I thought I would do a really quick video, or try to do a quick video. It might have to be in two parts, but over um, some of my favorite e.l.f. products. I know that I've gotten a lot of questions here lately about um, if they're any good or what I like, so I just thought I would do, um, you know, kind of an overview of what my favorites are and stuff like that. So to get started, I'll start with um, all my favorite dollar line products, and I'll start with brushes. And um, one of my favorite brushes is their powder brush. Yeah, and this is the Professional Total Face Brush, like this. And this thing I don't actually use for powder. I spray my um, Mark um, Multi-Tasking uh, Spray on it that's supposed to, I guess it's kind of like a Max uh, Fix Plus. But I use it to set my makeup, so I do a couple sprays on this and then dab it all over, all over my face um, to take the powdery look off and um, kind of set my makeup for the day. So love this little brush, and he's a, like I said, these ones I'm starting with are in the dollar line. And then this is the Professional Eyeshadow Brush, which is um, really comparable to the MAC 239. And I love this little brush for like packing color on the lid. Um, this is another professional eyeshadow brush, but it's a lot bigger, so you can get it, they're either come small or big. I mean, I got these both at the dollar store, and so they're just, one's a little bit bigger, fatter up here, and one's a little bit smaller. So I like the little fatter one to put on color, um, my highlight color on. And then the last one that I really like in the dollar line is the defining eye brush. And it's an angled brush, and I use it to put um, my color, my like outer V color in, or um, to put color into the crease. So love this brush. And then the other brush I wanted to talk about, it's actually in the uh, like little travel case. I bought one of their travel brush sets, and this brush is probably my favorite. I've used it, I use it every day. But it's an eyeliner brush, and it's a slanted brush. And as you can see, I mean, it's got such a paper thin point on it. You can really get in there and get a really fine line with it. And I'm, my vision isn't real good if I don't have my contacts in, so I have to get real close to the mirror. And sometimes I bump into the mirror with the longer ones. And this one, I can get right up in there and see what I'm doing. So I love this thing. Um, another thing in the dollar line that I like are the natural um, lashes like this. And these ones are really, they blend in really well with your um, natural eyelashes, so they're not over dramatic. They have some that are dramatic, but these ones are just the natural ones. And these ones I got at the dollar store, so you can pick the, you don't have to get these online. Another thing that um, I liked from the dollar line is the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Mascara. Yeah, clear mascara. And I ordered this, I Every time I place an order with e.l.f., I order these. And this has such a fine little brush that you can get in there and get uh, your brows. Because mine are kind of unruly, so I like to keep them where they're supposed to be. So, yeah, like this product. Another thing in the dollar line I like is their compacts. And I actually don't have any of the little shadows or anything that go in here. I actually store my MAC shadows in here because I think the packaging on this, I mean, there they are. But I mean, this thing is so much more sturdy than that little plastic thing that they give you to put your MAC shadows in. So I keep mine in this and it keeps them really safe. So love this thing. Another thing that I like, and I have four of them, are the sh uh, Shimmering Facial Whips, if I can even talk. And I have one in Lilac Petal. I have one in Toasted. I have one in Pink Lemonade. And I have one in Spotlight. And I these are truly little multitasker little things for a dollar each. I use them for like, um, to put my blush on. Sorry, I'm like going blank here. I don't know. I use them um, as a base for my blush. I use them as highlighters. I use them as lip gloss. I use them as um, eye bases. I mean, these truly are little multitaskers. The last thing that um, I really like in the dollar line is the e.l.f. Brightening Eye Color Quads. And this one is in Ivy. And this is the second one I've purchased of this. And it's got the greens and the purples and then a gold. And this is the second one I've had in this color too. And it is in the neutrals. And these have really good pigmentation. And like for a dollar each, can't go wrong. Okay, the next thing I'll talk about is their min the stuff I like in their mineral line. And the for blush in their mineral line, I like the Joy one. 
And this is just a really soft uh, matte pink. Let's see if I can show it to you like that. This is my go-to soft matte pink blush. I love it. Then um, for their eyeshadows, the one that I really like in it is in Confident. It looks like that. And I'll show you the color. It looks like this. And this color is so multi-dimensional and pretty. Love it. And it stays on. And you can blend these out really well. So I really like that. Another item I like in their mineral line, sorry I have that stuff all over my hands, is their um, e.l.f. mineral concealer. And I don't actually like this as concealer. I didn't think it had any, you know, the coverage wasn't real well. Uh, but I do like this as an eye setting powder under my eyes because it is a light, if you can see it has a light pink um, color to it. And it sets my makeup so well under my eyes and it really does brighten under there. So love this stuff as an eye powder under there. Um, the last mineral thing that I like is the e.l.f. Mineral Lip Gloss. It comes in a tube like this. And I have it actually I have it on my hand right there. And I have it on right now. But it's just a really pretty little pink peach color. And these, all the mineral items I think are $3. Okay, so on to the last stuff. And that's the studio items that I like. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to hurry and get this in under time. Uh, this is their e.l.f. powder brush. It looks like this and it's got the flat top. And I don't use this for powder. I actually use this with my Revlon Color Stay or any of my liquid foundations. I stipple it on and this thing gives you such flawless coverage. Love this brush. Use it every single day. Um, the next thing I like, and these are in the studio line, if I didn't already say that, is the e.l.f. shimmer palette in the studio line. And it looks like this. And it's got like a white, um, a peach, a champagne, and then a pink. And these are kind of like the shimmering facial whips in a way, but I use them the same way. I use them like in the inner corner of my eye, you know, I use them um, on it's a highlighter on my cheekbone, I use them on my lips. I mean, I love these, and when I run out of this, I'm gonna purchase it again. Another thing that I really like in the studio line is the warm bronzer. And it looks like this, it's got the the light one, it's got the dark one, it's got the medium one, and then another really dark one. But when you swirl them together, I mean, it didn't mix very good. You get a really pretty, it's not even showing up right on, cam on camera, but I mean, you get different colors in there. And it makes a really multi-dimensional uh, color, and I use it to bronze or to contour with, and I really like it. This does have, oops, sorry have um, slight shimmer to it so if you don't like shimmer you probably wouldn't like this one the last item I'm going to talk about is the elf HD powder and I love this stuff I mix it um, half and half with this to help where it doesn't set into my little to the lines but I also use this because my skin kind of gets oily in the t-zone area so I use this um, on a, a really light brush and just brush it on like my t-zone area and this stuff truly does help keep the oil you know it doesn't let it shine through as well and that stuff lasts all day so these are a few of my favorite elf well I guess most of my favorite elf products I don't think I know of any other ones that I forgot so uh, if you guys would like to let me know your guys's favorite elf products I would love to hear them because I'd like to try some more and if you have any comments about um, or questions about the ones that I have, just leave them in the comment box below and I will get back to you. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.